Hello boys and girls, welcome to peek over my shoulder as I new vision all over Neofeud. By the way, you can find Neofeud in Steam Greenlight and, uh, and also it's possible to vote for it in GOG New Game Doodads. Right, we have come here to the par parents of the year. We can look around in this uh, nice apartment. Oh. Ah, so this is uh, the uh, Robo uh, Hippie Terminator. Wait, what? I don't. I, I don't even understand what I'm. What I'm supposed to do here? Like, which? Which is which? Children in household. Ah, oh, no. Then. Protogen. Yeah. So this is. I think I think this means to be no. Do you uh, normally leave power tools plugged in in the living room? Well, uh, we can't afford a lot of square footage, so we've had to, uh, downsize. <laughs> so you have a kitchen-slash-industrial-workshop hybrid? I prefer to think of it as a micro-home with a crystal <laughs> and maker space. At least that's what my buddy from Portland called it. Oh, I have to file reports for everything right away. Oh, shit. Can I... can I change shit before I do that? The, the miners seem pretty... Pretty... Um, hazardous on their own, so... Oh wait, now I see where the text is coming from. What's this? Oh, that's Zet. Well, okay, she's a miner alright. No wait, that's Z and what's the What's with the baby? suspicions of abuse or, or maltreatment so basically if I don't uh, want them to suffer any bureaucracy I will just tick no door okay okay so some things I can just examine without reporting yeah I can get behind that uh, that table
So actually some of these things, it seems to me that based on Carl's uh, opinion, some of these things should be reported. Let's see. I think I want to load. Let's load. Yeah. So first, talk to them. Uh, didn't I run into you back at SS? You get the meds and therapy vouchers you needed? I got a Ken doll cheapo plastic leg. <laughs> Looks like they cut it from a mannequin at a Sears fire sale. It's nay on the ends me too. But hey, <laughs> positive thinking, compadre. Who needs the man, right? Transcendental meditation keeps my aggressive programming diffused and my chakras and my <laughs> Sorry, man, but I have to ask, do you ever partake of the M juice on occasion to take the edge off? I'll be honest, I did bake my processor to near blue screen when I was first discharged from the service. I was in a terrible place, man. My chakras all out of alignment. I did some things I wasn't proud of. But I've been clean for over a year now. Swear to jobs, man. That's <laughs> good to hear. <laughs> okay, so this is a no. What about her? You folks have quite an elaborate doorbell setup. Secret AM FM radio codes. I'm real sorry, Mr. Carr, but we've just been having these incidents of late, so Todd's did some uh, tinkering and fixed us an intercom. Grandma Lucy agreed to help us out as well. She's like the matriarch around here. She used to run a halfway home for first-gen trans species kids orphaned by their parent corporation, well, until the biotech giant stole all the kids away for experimentations. Can you give me any more information on these suspicious strangers? Now that you mention it, we did have someone come by claiming he was Johnny's social worker, but we sure as hell didn't recognize him. <laughs> Pardon my French. When we said Johnny wasn't here, he just disappeared. That ain't what you call due process or standard protocol or whatever for a social worker. They're supposed to come in and check around and ask questions anywho. That's when we knew something was right fishy. Why didn't you hmm? just call Coastlandia Sentient Services and let them know? Well, that's the thing, Mr. Carbon. We weren't sure how uh, high up the food chain this thing went. Maybe the guy was sent by the giants up in Hightown. B-5-O-Fun? Yeah, you know those Hightown Illuminatas are out there. <laughs> Reptilian race of Ubermen using us for experiments. <laughs> Todd! I highly doubt this is to do with some massive, corrupt scheme of the government and corporations. But you had the right instinct playing it cautious. Yeah, tell me more. Uh, what's the deal with the Toyonde wall and the soda cans and stuff? Yeah, we uh, ran out of actual drywall and cement and stuff after that fire came through when the Crunk Lab exploded downstairs. <laughs> Burned half the building. We gotta upcycle whatever junk we got lying around. Can't afford fancy fancy mint materials, know what I mean? So we got these old ancient beaters, a bunch of soda cans and other trash, Welded it together. Ain't pretty, and we ain't exactly gonna flip this place on Greg's list, but it keeps the elements out. <laughs> okay, so what about this one? <laughs> I see you've got a cute little mini bot there. Haha, <laughs> thank you, Ooh. Mr. Carbon, sir. How old? 13,486 cycles. I mean, Princess is 18 months as of this July. Princess? That's her name. We're hoping she aspires to reach for the stars, or at least the geosync sky city someday. She's our pride and joy. I'm sure she is. I've got a couple ankle biters myself. Their mom does a great job. <laughs> That's great to hear, Mr. Carbon. Please, just, just Carl will do. Do you mind if I have a look? Of course, mister. 
Carl. <laughs> oh, Ooh, who's a little cutie? What's that bump on his on her head? I hear you're royalty, little princess. Oh, one of the I'll be sure to get you a tiara for your birthday. Tiara. Uh oh, <laughs> she knows my name. Now I've got to make good on that tiara, or she'll come from my head when she's queen. <laughs> Probably nothing. <sighs> and I hate to be the G-man bureaucrat, but I have to ask: those burn marks on her chassis? <laughs> those are nothing. When we were assembling her ghost into her current shell, we had to replace a few panels with spare parts. Those burns were on the paneling of the previous robot. Sorry, I just have to officially ask. Government mandates and all that crap, you know. Oh, here comes the I forum. I understand, Carl. Hmm. Shit. So that's the first question. Yeah, that could afford presence of electrical hazards. Basically, if I wanted to mess with them, I could seriously mess with them. Can I scroll? No. Okay, so access to clean water is a moot point. Unsanitary household conditions is a moot point. There is probably criminal activity here, and there's obviously fire hazard. Abandonment of sprains, lack of supervisor. Ah, okay, if I ask about this. Well, let's go by the fact that the baby seemed happy enough, so... Nope. So let's ask the hard questions first. Can I, if I just look at it? No, I have to talk to her. So you've got a bun in the oven there. Oh yes, this young is in the third trimester of wet wear development. No, gestational digibetes, kernel sickness... No, nothing like that. Little Cyberling's healthy as a horse. That's great. When was the last checkup? Uh, let's see, the 21st, yeah. <laughs> so, no other issues? The amniofate fluid in your gestatrix looks a little on the green side. Ah, uh, well, the last ultrasound showed just the slightest hint of fetal acid syndrome, but the doctor gave us some nanomeds and said it should clear up in a couple weeks. That's good to hear. <laughs> I I'm sure you do, and it's just standard protocol, but... You know, since you guys are uh, machine sentience, can I see your license to self-replicate if it's not too much trouble? Sure thing, it's right over here. What is she drinking? Thanks so much. Eleven forty three B. Nope, I ain't seen nothing. Okay, so let's get the easy ones out of the way first. So mood point. point hmm. 
dangerous. I will report this one. So they don't want you to do cottage industry. Yeah, so screw you government. Uh, what about these? again because this kind of comes from the territory oh okay so this is somebody else's area now I get it so let's let's ignore this Can't get tetanus. Okay, so this is about the table. For the table, I'm gonna say you do. to uh, how to do this inspection in such a way that uh, uh, that I'm not outright outright lying and I won't uh, I'll push them too far so if I pick the shit that is irrelevant For example, if I if I skip the fire hazard and the and the blades and only check the shit that I can. Uh, I Do you can uh, normally leave power tools plugged in in the living room? Well, uh, so you. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. So I should have. I could have uh, left this one unchecked. So the, the bigger kid is danger enough and the little kid is is not yet touching it so so I think uh, if you don't have to report everything then you could uh, just check the shit that is anti-regulation but uh, not any real harm and you could skip the furnace and skip these for example okay let's, let's talk Well, I've collected all the information that I need, Mr. and Mrs. Silica. I'll contact you if we need anything else. So everything's okay then? Our children aren't... we're not in any trouble? Not as of now. Uh, Sentient Services CPS will need to do some further review of your case, and as I said, 
We'll contact you if we need to. I will still need to speak to Johnny at some point. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. Go in peace, my brother. <laughs> Have a good day, Mr. Carbon. Can we do something about this fire hazard, though? They're not bad folks, even for robots. <sighs> they might still get their kids taken by CPS, but I sure as hell don't want to be the agent to do it. I'm out of here. Can't I try out some more doodas from the... from the wall? Carbon? Good news! I found the silicas. I've just about wrapped up the CPS home visit. That is good. Real good. Look, Carbon, I... We need you to do something for us. What? What do you mean, we? The royal <laughs> we? <laughs> the editorial we. We need you to find a reason to take the Silica's children into Child Protective Services. What? Why? What, what the hell? They, they haven't done anything to warrant immediate child removal, as far as I can see. Look, they're living in a hopeless ghetto. Their oldest kid is getting into multiple felonies. He'll wind up doing 30 to life before he turns 19. You're doing them a favor. He'll have a better life in foster care. What? As another statistic? Another one of the thousands of sentient machine foster kids who get abused to death? Lobotomized on cyborg drugs each year and wind up another kids for cash product to be experimented on by mega corporations and government? Hey, hey, where the hell do you get off questioning my authority? Maybe you've been off the force a while, so you forget what a chain of command is. This is wrong, Shuffler. I'll admit, I've colored outside the lines, bent the law here and there as a cop, even broke it a few times. But it was always for the right reasons. Whatever you're doing here, think about it, man. Whatever this is about, it's nothing good. This isn't about anything other than you continuing to have employment in a 60% unemployment cluster flag of the post-robot AI economy. I've got plenty of sob story ex-cops, ex-construction workers, ex-doctors, ex-everything's looking for a job, all just waiting to take your place. So what? You gonna admin explain to me how it is? Throw some Depression 2.0 grass in my face? Like I'm not also a peon living in the sum sprawl every day. That's goddamn cliche shuffler even for you. Cut the threat mongering and fire me already. This wasn't a job. It was always just a piece of shit excommunication from the police department's sentence. See if I give a shit. You really need to be the goddamn Boy Scout, huh, Carbon? Do you want to wind up living in some machine and franken people infested junkyard eating dog food for dinner? You think I like ordering people to take kids from their parents? No! Even if they're slum dog potheads, it's a terrible thing tearing a child from his mother's arms. But I also have a wife and kids to take care of, and a big ass high city mortgage to float. You've got a wife, or an ex-wife too, right? Johnny, yeah. I've got your My Life profile up here on my screen. Beautiful <laughs> kid you've got. I can see why you care about those ghetto bot kids. They're like surrogate children. You get to see them more than once a month after the divorce. You can be their guardian angel to make up for when you weren't there for your own son. Shame if something were to happen. Don't you talk about my family, Shuffer. You son of a... I'm trying to get you to think about your family, Carbon. You stuck-up bastard. You don't get to be a hero. We're pawns in a feud bigger than we can imagine. Now, do you want to be a pawn that becomes collateral damage? Or the one that makes it across the board gets promoted to a rook? Get off your goddamn romantic rebel high horse and turn the cogs of the machine before Leviathan grinds you up and swallows you and yours. I'm done talking to you, Mr. Carbon. Mr. Social Worker. Find grounds to take that kid into custody or consider yourself terminated. I've already got Coastlandia PD inbound to facilitate the extraction of the children, along with the signed judge's order. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, what do they want of those kids? I'm 
I'm sorry. Yeah, what? Can I at least warn them? Oh, hi, Mr. Carbon. Back again so soon? Unfortunately, Mr. and Mrs. Silica, we've discovered quite a few uh, issues here in your household. What do you mean we've discovered? You're talking all funny, compadre. Oh, uh, um, I'm real sorry to hear that, Mr. Carbon. Please let us know what we can do. Um, We'll take care of these here issues straight away. Firstly, this apartment itself is not up to Coastlandia building codes. These walls are a collapse hazard. Well, there ain't a whole lot we can do about that. The landlord hasn't shown his face in three months to repair so much as a shorted light. We can't afford to go buying actual building materials on my salary. This junkyard junk's all we got. Unfortunately, Mr. Silica, your housing issues are not my responsibility. You'll need to take that up with Section 9 housing. They denied our request for housing on account of an affordable housing shortage. Please, Mr. Silica, do you have a license to operate that furnace and the other robotic development equipment? Well, no. Coastlandia wouldn't give us a license to make parts. But we got broken ball joints, Need oil changes, CPU defrags, arm replacements. And we ain't got money nor insurance to go to a machine hospital. No one ever asked for no license, so I just assumed... <laughs> it doesn't matter what you assumed. You are illegally manufacturing prosthetics here that are way outside regulation. What? Uh, I, I don't think I understand. Your child is living here in dangerous conditions. According to Code 337, subsection C, because your child is living in dangerous conditions, I am required by law to take your children into Cyborg Child Protective Services. It's nothing personal. You're not serious. You've got to be shitting me. Unfortunately, Mrs. Silica, I am dead serious. There's got to be something we can do. Uh-oh. Oh my god! Suzette, get behind me! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Sir, ma'am, are either of you in possession of a weapon or is there a weapon somewhere in the house? No, you can't do this! Carl, tell him! Tell him this is just a misunderstanding! I'm sorry, Todd. I, I can't. Get away from our family! Get the flag away from our kids! Sir, we have a court order to take your children into protective custody. For the sake of your family, please step aside. No! This can't be happening! This is kidnapping! Sir, step aside now. Okay, okay. Just don't hurt my wife and kid. This is my child, my baby. Carl, you backstabbing bastard, you're tearing our family apart. How can you live with yourself? How can you sleep at night? I'm sorry, Mrs. Silica, I'm, I'm sorry. This is out of my hands. J just do as they say and you won't be harmed. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to come and grab the baby. So please don't resist and don't fight me, okay? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please just go easy on them officers. Oh, you worm. Mama! You're hurting her! Get back. X-800 military model approaching. Engaging hostile. Uh-oh. Ah! Todd! Jobs H. Christ! I said they wouldn't be harmed. Do you want to start another robot riot? Like the Trayvon King incident? He didn't do anything wrong. He disobeyed a police command, sir. And don't worry, we do this all the time. We have a deal with the tech companies to limit media fallout. Besides, <laughs> we're doing a good thing here, saving kids from abusive parents. Most of these machines are defective scum anyway. You should be proud of yourself. Okay, let's wrap this up. 
Secure the product. Yes, sir. The product? Where is the second humanoid dependent? Uh, huh. The teenager, Johnny. I, I don't know. Johnny wasn't at his school. The, the parents don't know where he is. What the hell? Aren't you guys going to administer first aid? Start a police report? All right, we're done here. Put out an APB on Johnny Silica. Machine sentient. Last known robotic shell was 5-4. Blue, silver, chrome. Heavy modification. Black high top. Achilles attachments. Dun, dun, dun. Where the hell are you going? This is a total breach of due process. I is he all right, Mrs. Silica? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my baby Todd. Oh, God. I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for... Oh, just go. Haven't you done enough here? <laughs> just get the hell away from us. <laughs> Hello. The product. Who the hell are you? Beep boop. What do they really want these kids for? That looks like a company logo, or, well, family logo. Just what the hell is going on? <laughs> Say something! Hey, I'm talking to you! No. Time traveler! That's busted, isn't it? Well then. Oh, jobs. My brain feels like it's been pureed in a blender. Who? What the hell was that? I don't know what the hell is going on, but I'm gonna find out. That punk ass bot kid matched those SWAT guys description of Johnny Silica right down to the Reebok Future Step shoes. That underage smoking piss at was my client all along. He mentioned he got his smart cigarettes AI hack that the arcade. Hmm. That rings some bells for my time at CPD. We did some sting ops and informant fishing down there. Time for a trip down memory lane. <laughs> the money shot. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, so the music uh, resets itself. Proto J? Oh no. <laughs> Which one is Proto J? There is a story uh, titled from uh, his perspective, and uh, there's uh, uh, 
uh, there's a uh, YouTube video where Chris is reading that story. If I remember, I will, I will uh, link it. Anyway, save here and end the episode. Also, I want to try out in my uh, on my own whether. Uh, Whether ticking different boxes on the on the uh, government form uh, might provide some some different out well not not different different but uh, difference in details for the uh, for the family stuff. For now, thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out new feud on Steam Greenlight. Mode for it on GOG. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.